Hello, it is oil change day today, and I shall be doing this on the V8. I already addressed the V6 a few days ago. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about opening your hood, basically. <laughs> I, I made a video recently talking about how you can temporarily disable your remote start feature by opening your hood while doing your work and you could actually do something else like opening your door your trunk and things like that but the hood is good because you don't run the risk of running your battery down you know leaving some lights on and running your battery down and i feel like i saw a comment pop up asking how do you do an oil change without needing to open your hood or maybe the tone was more like if you're doing an oil change i hope your hood is already up I'm not sure. I tried to go look for that comment to respond to it, but I didn't really see it. But sometimes Facebook acts weird, so I don't know if it was deleted or it's just there and I won't see it till months later. So if you're the one that wrote that comment, just know I'm not ignoring you. Probably just can't find it to respond to it. But um, I wanted to give this example here. So for an SUV like this, as tall as it is or as high as it is above the ground, I've been able to go underneath it remove the skid plate and I slid the oil catch underneath it and I've already drained the oil and I was trying to make a to record a video for something else and when I started approaching the vehicle I realized that uh oh it is actually you know it's it's locked so based on the criteria of remote starting a vehicle this vehicle is pretty much at risk of someone starting it and it's running dry, I believe. I don't really know the full extent upon which it, you know, it starts checking for the oil pressure and oil temperature and things like that, but I'm not going to risk it. Pretty expensive, right? But I've already communicated that I'm doing an oil change and things like that. But humans are human, right? And who knows, kids might get the keys or something like that. So that's one of the reasons I usually talk about things could happen. Not only that, if you think about it, sometimes, sometimes you might be in a position where you go to maybe a quick lube place and the first thing they do is drain oil. Best practice is you, you're going to check the dipstick first to at least know if it's got some oil. But in all honesty, five, uh, five minute oil change they get in there, drain it, and then they just add a certain amount of, you know, oil in it and then send you on your way. Ideally, I should have opened the hood because I like to check the level, know how much I have on the dipstick and things like that. But kind of run out of space. I would like to do it in the garage, but as you can see, the garage is really full right now. So I'm not doing a flat level check before draining it. I'm just draining whatever it is I get. I'm going to put it back in the in the jugs and I've told you guys I usually mark them five quarts put pretty much the same amount in put the same you know put whatever exceeds that level into another jug and at minimum I'm going to put in whatever was inside the engine because I'm the one that did the last oil change so make sure at minimum is there then when I get it to an even uh, flat surface and I'll check the dipstick and top it up as as need be but from what I've seen it doesn't burn oil doesn't burn oil still burns oil to a certain level the q70l doesn't so much but it's not driven that much either but yeah so uh, long video but it was just a discussion of how do you ever get yourself in a situation whereby you're draining oil and your hood is not up so i'm going to open the hood because i need to replenish the oil but if something were to happen and the vehicle were to be started right now remotely i might be in trouble Okay. All right. That's, that's all I have. And I hope these videos that I record, if, if they don't teach you anything major, maybe they just kind of trigger some discussion, you know, spark a thought, something you might think about, something you'd never really considered. And I, I learn a lot too. The discussions I have with you guys in the comments, I, I learn things here, you know, every once in a while. So I, I do enjoy what I do so far. Okay. All the best guys.